Do you leave for work in the morning, all happy, smiling, with a hop and a skip, and when you come back, you are beaten to a pulp? You probably work somewhere here, or the manager, one of the departments, lower down, one of the people working on the machines. My name is Pete Hennen, and today I will tell you about the top five tool. It is useful, it is practical, and it works. You can ask yourself if everything in your work is 100%. 100% quality. Do you have 100% productivity? 100% utilization? 100% support from others? There's your other people in your organization. Do you have zero waste? This can be raw materials or money. Do you have zero losses? This can be time, staff turnover, can even be your customers. How do you go about solving your problems with this tool? Call everybody together in the same room that work with you. And in this case, we represent this by this graphic of a factory. Now this can be manufacturing, it can be construction, your business may be a service department, it can be a law firm even, it can be government, it doesn't matter. Call them together, everybody, and give them each one of these pads. And same color pen. And ask them to write one problem per note. Typically, why are we not 100% quality production, utilization, and why do we not have zero losses and waste? Get the answers in, gather them together, and sort them out, similar problems together, so you have one problem statement. Then, list your problems. Decide together if each one of these problems is actually a problem. Yes, yes, no. The next step would be to prioritize these problems. Ask yourself why are we not perfect? These problems are the reasons why you are not perfect. So, find out the number one problem. And number one. This one will be two, three, four, etc. Once you have prioritized your problems, you must list them. Put your biggest problem on top. List your problems from one to the end. Your biggest problem on top. This is your priority. You will be working only on the top five problems. Your job is to solve those. This method is not only for work. You can use it in your private life. For example, relationships. You can ask, if this is your marriage, why? Same question, are we not perfect? Why are we not one unit? 100% devoted, 100% committed, 100% loyal, zero conflict, zero strife, and zero special friends. So what you do is, you list your problems, so just like here, in prioritism, and put them there. The next step is to start fixing these problems. How do you go about that? You cannot do it yourself. You don't fix big problems in tea time. You need to form a committee. 
use these people, for example, this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. They form a committee. This committee must meet every week and you discuss the problems, how to solve them. Maybe you must sell something, maybe you must buy something, maybe you must design something. For sure, you have to produce minutes so that you can inform the people upwards, downwards and sideways so that everybody knows what you are doing, how you are progressing and how they can help. This is important because without their help, you will get nowhere. If you are solving this problem, if you don't form a committee, the two of you can be your own committee. But you have to ask the same questions. What can we do to fix this problem? These problems can be related to work, to little, to much of it, money, to little, to much of it, friends, to little, to much of it, even that special friend must be out, can be your children. And remember, not your work, not your money, not your friends, but even your children is more important than your marriage. Think about that. You are needed to solve your problems. Very soon, if you work on these problems in your committee, solving, even hiring extra labor or expertise, doing what you are doing, very soon you will solve the problem. When this is solved, number one, you have to move up. So here is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and this is your new top five. While you are working on a problem and you're waiting for something, you can work on the other problems in the meantime. But number one is your problem. When you finish with the problem, as you cancel these problems, these ones make their way into the list. Eventually you don't need a committee to solve these small problems. You can do it in theta, maybe. Soon, with all your problems solved, or most of them, you will find that your factory will be more productive. You may even do extra work into the night. These are the lights. If you are fixing this problem, you might find that holding hands has an all new experience. You now have a method to tackle your problems. This is not the alpha and the omega of problem solving. This is an easy tool that you can use wherever you work. Whether you are on the top or at the bottom of your organization, your sphere of influence is important to you and to the people around you. So call your colleagues, ask them why, list your problems, work on the list one by one, effectively fixing every problem to change your life. Thoughts